So just to review, we did the head and arm choke yesterday, and I'm just going to review it. And then I'm going to let Michael maybe show that other one he was showing me. But So we went from here yesterday, side coat control with the underhook, kind of schmucking with them here with our shoulder, switching to here, almost like you're going to mount a good base and everything, and waiting for them to just rise this shoulder right here. And when they do, we, we switch our hips and tricep to tricep and around to here, okay? And then we also did from here, when people like to reach up and grab, if they make that mistake, even when they hold really tight, you can get your head over here, pry really hard, even when they're really, come straight around for it like this. Same thing. So, when I, I want to put a lot of chest weight on him, so to get, the first thing I concentrate with my left arm is getting my elbow down to the ground, the left elbow. And then I kind of corkscrew it out like this to get it out as far as I can. Then I bring my bicep over to it. Now as far as my <clears throat> bottom half goes, hips up, toes pushing, and then you sink your hips, and then it even helps to bring that up here and squeeze. Okay, so one more time on that one. They'll hold a little tighter. When they're holding tight, you get your hips up a little bit just to get your knee down there. From there, this hand comes over here and I start swinging around this way. And it's really not always gonna be easy. Corp screwing it down right to here. Good finish. Okay, so you're up on all fours. So my point I was making la last night was uh, head and arm chokes being where, let's go ahead and sit up a little bit. This is where you got some pressure here and then something's pushing the shoulder. Now in that case that we just did, it was my chest laying on his tricep. It was getting all that pressure. So on this one tonight, I'm gonna use my hip, my right hip right here behind his shoulder and my arm will be over here. So from a front headlock position, Ideally, if I could, I would grab his arm and pull it across. So break that barrier right there. You always want to try to get somebody's elbow across the center line of their body if you can. And this one here, this is just ideal. If, it's, if, it's, if I can get his arm across, this leg goes up and I swing down here low. And then I switch to a guillotine grip. My hip gets right behind his shoulder. This shoulder goes low, guillotine grip, and you're sitting back and fish, finishing that way. But I just wanted to go over the fact that ideally you're going to get his arm across. But that only happens a couple of times, and then the people start knowing that they're not going to let you pull their arm. So to force the issue, if I can't get it, I'm still going to hold on here, and I'm going to go wide with the left foot, and then my right knee goes in a semi-circular uh, pattern in, inside right here. So if I'm here and I can't get his arm across, I'll just grab here, up, and slide straight in. And once I get to here, I switch to that grip. So the thing you're not seeing is that our, my hands are here, and as my body and my knee gets inside here between his knee and elbow, I switch to this grip, or this grip, left hand on here. So I'm here like this, he's not gonna give it, but I have this space between his knee and elbow on this one. So I up here, swing around, really tight. So as tight as you can get up here. Hey John, with that arm in, are you leaning forward in or are you pulling back? When I get the arm in, so here, <laughs> to right here you mean? Yeah, are you crunching in? I'm, I'm pulling it in arching my hips and pushing down with here. You'll know, you'll know if it's tight enough right when you get there. So it's important. The hard part is adjusting that as you're swinging your legs around. So you can practice this all by yourself if you don't get it right away just by going. That's the movement. But then the hand switch from up here on them to that. So one more time, and this is a fast one too. So I'll get somebody down here, here, and if I have the time and they haven't tied my hands up yet, straight in like that. And then I'm also trying to push his head down that way, buddy. 
here and arching my hips. The important part is this tightness. This has got to be heavy. So that shoulder drives way down here, like this. It's from way up here, it's got a lot of space. But when I swing around there, I drop my shoulder and my ear almost like this, from here. See, I don't want him now sliding off his head. So let's try that one. The guy on all fours is like this. Because in this one, I have space. This is the space that I'm taking advantage of that he's got right here. Okay, let's do that one first. 